Hey everybody, it's Paul Gorman out here in beautiful Peacock Gap. Out here on a spring day, the rain's over, and now we're starting to get into this golf game, right? Um, I'm here today to talk to you about the uh, uh, Better Golf or Golf My Way by Jack Nicklaus, okay? Obviously one of the best players of all time, a uh, major winner holder. So um, I love that little paperback book. It was kind of a cartoon sketches of Jack in there and all these little excerpts of what he did to play better golf, right? So um, what I want to talk to you today is about curving the golf ball, okay? And it was quite simple. As a matter of fact, out here at Peacock Gap where I am, there was uh, many, many years ago when I was playing here and I had that book and we didn't have video at that time or you know all the YouTube stuff going on. But I remember I drove the ball hard uh, you know, on 18th hole, it's a long hole, but I drew it into the trees a little bit on the left, right? And here's something to remember too. Whatever shot got you in trouble can get you out. So if you overhook the ball into the trees, you must hook it back out to get it towards the green. If you slice or fade the ball into something, then you've got to re-slice it back out to get to the green. So that's just something to remember. What got you there can get you out of there, okay? Um, here's the deal. Uh, remember Jack said, he said, uh, wherever you want your ball to go, you aim the face there. Wherever you want it to start, you aim your body there. So in other words, if I'm hitting to you, I would be like aiming my body to the right of you or to your left as you're looking at the screen. And I, I would have the club face at you. So the face of the club would actually look hooked as I'm looking down because it would be close to my alignment of my body, okay? So the body alignment's to the right, the club face is to the left of my alignment, but at the target. So it looks like this. There's, there's the draw or the hook action. And you got my, I got my back to you, got the face at you. I make my normal swing, and that ball's just gonna go like this. Opposite with the face. I'm gonna just align myself the other way, okay? To the left of you, or to your right as you're looking, but the club face right at you, okay? So now it's right at you. I'm to the left, and I make my normal swing, and that club is gonna spin the ball off to the right and fade it back in. Now let me let me show you this. Not a lot of people get this. This isn't just a rubber ball, man. It's gonna bounce off this club face. Wherever this face is aimed, when it's bouncing is where it goes, right? So that was a little to the right, and I threw the ball, and it bounced off to the right. Well, we're trying to we're trying to make our ball bounce to the pin a lot, aren't we? So once you understand this, you'll understand how to curve the ball or the trajectories or the better players on the planet know how to do different things with the golf ball. So when you come out to practice here, I want you to explore what I'm gonna show you today. And don't be just a, a one trick pony just trying to hit the ball dead straight all the time. You gotta to try to curve it here and there and have fun too. There's windows of trajectory and curves. And this white post is out there for a reason I'll show you in a minute. So what happens is, is your club face is gonna come in and it's gonna hit one of these dimples somewhere. There's about 362 of them or more. And you're gonna hit one of them, believe me. But when you're drawing the ball, you can see how the touch points of this club right now are rolling all over this golf ball to show you if I wanna hit it higher, I always open my stance and open the face. And you can see as I open the face, it starts to go under the dimples here, okay? As I wanna hook the ball, and draw the ball, I close the face and it starts to roll up the equator and hits lower shots that curve right to left. Now drawing the ball, which is a nice playable uh, right to left curve for us right-handers, is what we look for. A hook is usually uh, uh, trying to get out of trouble or maybe playing into the wind like the British Open. You play the Masters, you play the US Open, you're trying to hit high soft shots that land and don't roll much. You get into the British Open, you can play those running shots, right? And those are the draw shots, okay? That's the first one I'm gonna start off with right now just to show you guys, okay? So white post is here, and I've got a six iron in my hand. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna aim my body to this red post, red and white post over there, and the ball's gonna dive around this post and come back on the post. So again, I got my body to the right and my club face to the post, and I make my normal swing. I can't believe you're gonna These hard ones? Right? Here we go again. Bodies to the post, red and white post. 
club face to the target here, which is the white post, and it's just going to hook around big time. That was a lot of hook. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the draw or the hook. Okay, I'm in trouble on the left or I'm in the British Open. So I aim my body to the right. I got my club face to the target where I want it to end. Start where you want it to start is the body, where you want it to end is the club face. Here we go. Ooh, look at that baby. That's a hot running golf ball that would go. That six iron there never got off the ground about 10 feet but was gonna go 200 yards. Very usable sometimes, okay? So again, I'll do a little softer one so you can see the curve, a little less speed. Here we go. Blood face at the post, body to the right of the post. Here we go. Nice little soft draw around the post. Okay, now I'm gonna do the fade. And of course the fade is me aligning myself to the left, which is gonna well, then I'm going to open the face, which is going to go around under the ball. You're going to see a higher, softer shot. Most, most of you are doing this already with your driver, but if you learn about draw procedure with your driver, it'll, you'll help yourself uh, hit more fairways and longer, too. So here I am, open, and now I'm going to make my normal swing. You'll see this high shot drift off and then land uh, spinning to the right. And you can see it's bending itself back. Right in there. So I'm going to aim a little left. Club face at the post. Normal swing along my body line. Here we go. Nice high lazy fade. Melting to the right. Okay. Go right back into that draw. There we go. Aim my body to the right. Blood face to the left of my alignment towards the target. There she goes. Now if I want to take a little off the amount of curve there, I'm going to not have the face quite close so much, but it's still going to be to the left of my alignment. So right there I was doing like 30 degrees to the right and zero degrees, uh, at, you know, basically at the target. That's a big snapper like you just saw. Okay, this time I'm going to aim 30 degrees to the right with my body, and I'll have the club face about 15 degrees to the left in between both. And this will be a softer look, you'll see. It'll be higher, too. See that softer, gentle draw? So knowing how much to do can give you the opportunity to play, you know, low burning shots, under trees, you're trying to run a thing up into the wind, or higher left pin placement shots, always curving from the middle of the green to the edges of the green. So uh, don't, like I said, just be a one trick pony, get out there and get on that driving range and start working on some different shots, you know, different trajectories and curving the ball. And use these principles from Jack Nicholas. They really helped me before I knew anything and uh, just came out of the uh, playing golf as a a really good baseball player could hit off-field shots and everything else so it uh, really helped me just understand that this little guy here this club face is similar to a tennis track and a ping pong paddle which i could move all over the place too so that's it this is uh, paul gorman again paulgormangolf.com uh, jack nicholas play better golf golf my way books are coming out and uh, videos with them as well can't wait to see you there zoom online reach me there okay thanks